Whoa, this is not where I left off on the last part. Yee! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. I'm at Spirit Island because everything is maxed out on my gems, so it is time. Let's do it. Ooh, let's power up. Yes, Tony. Spirit gems. Come forth, Spirit of Power! Using the Spirit Gems as boy has collected, search yourself for the true extent of your Spirit Power! And... The sparkles have been powered up even more! Woohoo! Thank you. Thank you very much. Hoo! 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 I don't really notice much of a difference, though. So. <laughs> Anyway, next spirits. Mm. I mean, yeah, there is definitely a power up, but I mean, on my animation and stuff like that. 20 wisdom gems. Comports with wisdom. And the sparkles get even sparklier. Heck yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> one more! One more! Courage! I'll probably equip the Spirit of Courage when I go back to the Temple of Ocean King, actually, come to think of it. POWER! Because, <laughs> you know, I'll be able to save myself from extra hits and whatnot, you know, extra hits of damage. Heck yeah! But for now, I'm still sticking with the power. <laughs> the power! I mean, anyway. Now I'm gonna go off to the northeastern part of the sea to get a whole bunch of red X's knocked off on our list there because, well, they've been building up and that's pretty much the only place left that I'll be slapping around my my arm, my salvage arm, yeah, I, I can't speak for some reason, and yeah, so let's head on over there and slop it in the water, I guess. <laughs> and so, what I mean by slop is because it kind of kind of flip-flops around there, kind of haphazardly when you're controlling at your very best. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to go over to this one because it's in the middle of the pirate ship's of doom, and then I can warp back out to that spot, so I'll see you over there. You... stinker! <laughs> Alright, let's do it. We've been boarded, we got stuff to take care of, Ha! Ah! I win. <laughs> Dang! The, oh, wow, that actually wasn't too bad of a reward to uh, stop for. <laughs> Got a decent reward this time, all right. All right, no more invading me, please. I'd very much appreciate that. <laughs> all right, so, 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 so. Oh, by the way, um, if you sink a main pirate ship, you can get a ship part from it if you salvage where it sank. But uh, that's not really one of the most efficient ways to get ship parts, so I haven't really bothered with that. All right, salvage, salvage. Salvage. Really, the most efficient way to get ship parts is way, way, way near the end of the game. At the Temple of the Ocean King, actually. Because when you are able to defeat phantoms with your upcoming sword power-up, you will be able to kill off phantoms on certain floors. And since you can warp to those later floors very quickly, thanks to the blue light, you can get those ship parts ship shape and, well, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Yeah, very, very quickly getting them that way. Well, I guess as quick as you can possibly get it, because, you know, you still gotta defeat the phantoms, still gotta flip-flop your way out of the temple and get yourself back at said floor to get the floor reset. Yeah, it's, it's still a long ordeal, and that's probably why they have the trading thing in there to encourage your uh, multiplayer interaction and whatnot. But it is possible to get all the ship parts on a single run through the game without having to do that. Alright, what did we get? What did we get? Log Pro Ship Parts! Yeah! Alright, next location. 
Oh wait, actually I should warp. I should do the ones in that circle first. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. what am I doing? I, I'm out of here, I'm warping, I'm warping, I'm warping. <laughs> Actually, with Jolene there, I wonder if this is such a good idea. Let's see what direction she's going. Okay, she's going away. I'll go over there. Alright, let's get ready to slop our salvage arm, baby. Yes, let's go. And do our best. And not make it sloppy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, ho, I will grab that, because why not? Yes, yes, yes. I, th I wonder if it's possible to get all the rupees in such a formation. I mean, you would have to slow down really early in that, and then just nick the one on the left, and then head over to the center, and then come back and get the one up on the right or something. Anyway, I got it! But will I escape unscathed? Probably not! Oh, especially with stuff like that going on! No! Mm -hmm. ah, you stinker! <laughs> It's alright though. It's alright. We can make it though. We'll be able to get this out without wrecking it totally. Because I have enough health that I have enough confidence that I can do so. And thus, there we go. Woo! -hoo! What's our prize? What is it? What is it? Give me. Give me. Give me its sloppiness. And it is a rock wheel ship part! Holy poopers, I am getting so much rockiness! So much rockiness! <laughs> I mean, I've got everything here and... Yeah, I, I don't know. Well, I don't think I'm gonna cut ahead here. I'm just gonna sell it right when I get over to the spot because it just, seem, just seems like a waste to cut ahead for such a small distance, don't you think? I think so. So let's get ready to salvage! No. <laughs> so, here we go. Hopefully I'll be able to get all the stuff that I want to get here without wrecking the salvage arm. Hopefully. Hopefully. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I've got a pretty good grasp on salvaging now, so... Yes, I'm not gonna get that, though. <laughs> I I pretty much got the majority... Actually, I got all the stuff that requires a load of rupees to get, so I could actually wreck my salvage arm all that I please, but it's still the whole inconvenience of having to go back to Murkay Island to get it repaired and whatnot, so... That's not really something that I really want to do, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> hmm. I think we're gonna make it. We have made it. Yes. Victory. I don't know why I hold the pointer so far up there. I mean, I, you can do that on the actual DS too, but I don't know why I do that. <laughs> it's just something that I do. And I get... A random treasure. Alright, so, uh... You know, I don't really want to warp. I think I want to just go around here. I think that's going to be quicker than warping there and then coming back through here. Although, we got Jolene coming back the other way. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe what I should do is warp and start at, the, at that one there and then come back to that one there. Jeez, I wasn't paying attention because those pirate ships went too far. Yeah, there's another one over there. I guess it was covered up by something. I don't know. But <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I don't know. But yeah, there's another one that I gotta get right over here. Nah, I keep mistapping in my menu. Urgh. I should also be using the shortcuts. <laughs> Just touch, I mean, press left on the D-pad to open that menu. All right. Concentrate, we do not want to go back to Murkay Island, if we can help it. <laughs> if we can help it is the key, though. Sometimes. Ooh, I don't like that swayingness. The swayingness is doom. Okay, we're good, I think. And got it. I think I'll be able to escape with this one. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Just gotta look out for the Octo Mines of Doom. I'm gonna go back to the center. Because I know they're gonna be popping out that side. Because they went out that side. On my way down. 
Okay, looking good. Looking very good. Looks like victory. Yes. The smell of victory, too. Mmm. LJ and Seaway. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, is my prize seaweed? No, it is a sea, sea pony cannon ship part. Yes. <laughs> Now, uh, I don't think I'm gonna warp again, because I'm right there, so let's head on over there, flip our camera around, there we go, and now we wait until we get there, just a little bit though, and hopefully I won't have any ire along the way, <laughs> so I'm just gonna open this up ahead of time, and try not to mistap if I get, oh shoot, <laughs> and try not to mistap by getting my menu open and cursor on the spot that I'd like to salvage at ahead of time. Oh boy, here we go. Woo! By the way, I'm still looking for the last sand of ours. I forgot where it is, but I think I can get it. I don't remember if it was one of the two last treasure charts, which reminds me, they are both, unfortunately, at the Temple of the Ocean King. <laughs> yup. Basement 10 and Basement 12. Yeah, so there's going to be like a post part anyway to, for me to get that. You know, a, a, like a post game part for me to get those anyway because there's stuff for me to show post game. And thus, yeah, I'm going to have to co come back through certain stuff anyway. So it's not, it doesn't, doesn't really get in the way of anything, but you probably aren't too happy to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, you've been through the Ocean King a bunch of times already by now. Oh, shoot! And it's probably getting a little bit grating. <laughs> but at the same time, every time you come through the Temple of the Ocean King, that you, you have something else new to do. So there's always something new to do when you go through it. And that was the idea of the, the, the game designers when they made the Temple of the Ocean King. Like, I know people got tired of it. But, you gotta admit that they had a lot of new stuff to go through each time you would go through the place. And that, as I said, was the idea of it. The idea of it was it was for it to be the ultimate Zelda dungeon, basically. Whether or not it achieved that is... I guess, objective, but... <laughs> An another stone hull? Are you serious? But anyway, um... Whether or not they achieved that is definitely up to opinion because, well, it's not the best place to go through, although I do think there are worse Zelda dungeons out there, like um, a certain one in Oracle of Ages, I don't want to spoil it, but it's a similar named dungeon to one in Ocarina of Time, let's just put it that way, it's, an, it's a water dungeon. I'll hint at it thusly, and you probably know what it is, but yeah, that one just does not play well at all. I mean, at least the Temple of the Ocean King has warps that are in sensible locations to get around and stuff like that, and yeah, oh shoot that, and yeah, I didn't think that was going to work out well. I'm going to have to dock soon, probably, but, well, I don't know, maybe not. Well, we'll see. Anyway, salvage, let's go and stop complaining about dungeons. <laughs> Stay positive because we are playing a good game for the most part. <laughs> so let's see what we got here in our next salvaging mini game. Oh, I think this is a simple formation, if I recall correctly. So I can just go right down this side here. <laughs> I don't like when I sway. It just feels like I lose so much control, and I really do. But it is possible to escape unscathed when you do lose control like that. Alright, I'm gonna go flop back around this side. Or slop back around this side. <laughs> Maybe, might be, hopefully, without damage. And then I'm going to go to the super secret left side of the sea. Well, of this portion of the sea that I have to get to from this side of the sea. And there we go, we made it. Heck yeah! There are two more treasure spots over there. Alright, what do we get? What do we get? We get... Seriously, another stone part? Are you kidding me? Good 
Lord Arceus Butter Bacon and everything on top. I can't believe I'm getting so many stone parts. <laughs> anyway, this part of the sea here can only... Oh, jeez, Jolene's just... Yeah, okay, we're good. But yeah, this part of the sea here really is only accessible from that side. We can't warp to it or anything. It's like the super secret way of getting to said sea, and my OCD is making me want to erase this. <laughs> I kind of want to leave these loopy lines there, though, because that's kind of like a, a part of the history. <laughs> And get ready to salvage! Go! <laughs> it's gonna be the wrestling announcer part, I swear. Alright, now! No, no, no! What is the dangers of this one? I forgot. I don't know, but I know there's gonna be danger. Well, we're already sort of in danger, but. Not in that much danger. There's gonna be something coming up the center, isn't there? Oh no, there's not. Oh shoot, that was maybe a red herring. Oh, that's throwing me offline. Well, it didn't help. I mean, it didn't work on me. <laughs> the trap did not work if that was actually a trap. And, okay, we're going. And we're gonna make it. We are going to make it through the currents. Through the fire and the flames. Well, there's not really any fire and flames unless we blow up one of the octo mines. And even so, it's mostly bubbles. <laughs> Alright. We are good. I am quite happy with that. <laughs> I mean, I haven't needed to repair my arms so far. Can I get that last X without needing to repair it? Maybe. Maybe. What? So if we go to our collection here, we have maxed out on the Sand of Hours. Yep, everything is max, 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 except the treasure charts. Yep. <laughs> but, 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 there's still my OCD regarding those numbers on the side. So we go to the next location. And we salvage as best we can. Hopefully without wrecking the salvage arm one more time and hopefully not wrecking our ship either because we haven't saved for a while <laughs> and I really don't want to go and salvage for these again alright so let's do our best to not take any hits here and then warp the Mercade to get that salvage arm fixed up <laughs> just for the future, because I'm going to have to come back through certain parts of the waters to salvage for certain random treasures that are pretty much optional at this point. No! No, I knew that was coming, but I got greedy with the... Uh, uh, now it's going to be beeping, which is another grating thing in the Zelda series. <laughs> it's a recurring grating thing. And well, if it if it breaks, I can just come back through here again. But I mean, I have the rupees for it, but it's just the whole thing of it's inconvenient. Dang it! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I had to get out of its way because that's sort of like the I, I got stuck by that one before. I remember that formation that caused me to take damage before, and I'm not gonna mess with that. All right, I'm just gonna go right along the edge, right about here, where they're gonna possibly appear. Because I seen them. I mean, they seen that there's an opening right along here, the whole way up. So I should be good as long as I stick to this, hopefully. And it looks like I've made it. Maybe, maybe. Yep, it looks like I made it. <laughs> Yes! Didn't need to repair it one bit! Heck! Yeah! Woo! Another shell apartment. Wow, I am... I am not really getting anything new here, am I? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna draw... And I'm gonna go! <laughs> Over to Mercury Island to get that thing repaired for future parts. Uh, maybe I won't won't cut ahead or anything like that. It's it's pretty close by and I'm gonna have enough cutsies as it is and I just gotta see if I can make it back to the island without having any more ire 
between the seagulls and the enemies that could possibly appear along the way. Nah, the seagulls are harmless. They're just there. I just like to shoot them. <laughs> Alright, we made it. Yeah, once we get to a certain point, it automatically poops us onto said island to do our business. Hey there. Salvage arm. You know the deal. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much, and with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I get myself set up for the final portions of the game.